Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of The Walking Dead. Today we're gonna start episode 3. So yeah, let's go. Previously on The Walking Dead. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Okay. People's awake. Solamente está confundido. Mama. Why are they like? Oh my god! Oh my god! Giving us a review for a flashback of what happened. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Thanks. Mari! Who? Oh, shit! Kate! Javi, don't! Hey, what do we call you? Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? Sorry, Clem. Yeah, that was the last thing we saw. What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. Yeah, I already know that. I hate being out so close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I okay, so it's a back story. A little in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it, and that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day. For food and water and gas for the stove. Have to try. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. <sighs> I know. It's just hard to get used to. That's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. Yeah. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. There it is. Let's take it and go. Yeah. Empty. Okay. You've got to be fucking kidding me! God damn it! That's a lot of noise. Of course it's empty. Why would we get that lucky? I mean, it's not like we needed it or anything. Easy, Kate. Maybe there's something else we can use in there. Yeah, okay, maybe. But we came out here for that tank. I just thought this one time we deserve to catch a fucking break. Behind you? Oh. It's a kid. Keith, you're a hammer now! Listen, it doesn't matter. I'm 
I'm sorry. I was just so fucking scared. You froze. It's okay. I wanted to kill it. I really did, but I know him. That was one of Gabe's friends. True. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. Gabe worshipped him. Yeah. Okay. So you recognized him. That's no reason to let it kill you. And it was going to kill you. I know. <sighs> I know you're right. I don't even know what to call them. Walkers. If they're not people. If they're just the dead. <sighs> Muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. We should, uh... Get back. Really, get back inside. Yeah. Okay. So this is kind of at the beginning, you know, like after the world went to like I know we all want to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back. But it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. Whoa, what are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there. For an empty can. There's gotta be a safer place out there. Somewhere. I so agree, isolated. it's time to go. So we'll leave. Go somewhere else. Somewhere safer. Somewhere with crazy thick walls, okay? And a gate that's 20 feet tall. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. Yeah. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cabe. We're safe inside the house. It's dangerous here. Find more Plus, it's not your call. We just look harder. We're tired of being afraid. Every time we leave you guys alone, and it's just getting worse out there. Better to leave now, while we still can. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we we just ditched him? We might never find him again. He will agree. Your dad would want us to do this game. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving, here, at home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe, but Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. There is no friends. Gabe, honey. What? What's what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? We saw your friend. She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean he, he was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. Why? He Don't needs you? to know the truth that we can we have to leave? come with us. If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Now. Tomorrow. As okay. soon as it's daylight. I wanna leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we gonna tell him? I wanna say something good. Something that won't make him sad. Just tell him we yeah. love him. All of us. And nothing's gonna change that. Not ever. I like that. I'm gonna write it right now. So we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really. Okay. 
take the bat. We should take the bat. It's a good weapon. does that mean but Dad Javi Is that really you? It is. <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. God, you have no idea how good it is to see your face. I think I got a pretty decent idea, actually. I knew you were still alive. I knew it. Hey, weapons down. This is my family. You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Yeah. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. And we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. Yeah. We need your doctor. Now, David. Thanks, Javi, for getting her here. Well, any She's time. coming inside, but she hasn't been checked. This is my wife, Max. You want her to die? No, nope. I didn't say that. Then let's go. Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites. And they all have to answer a couple of questions. Oh. Our doctor will clear the two of them. But the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. It's how we keep it safe for everyone. This, yeah. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Javi. Make my job easy, would you? Listen to your friend. Listen. We, <sighs> Whatever you we say. We can't argue right now. I'm telling you, we're not in position of demanding Let's go. here. All right. So, hey, Trip. Oh God, Eleanor. When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. Yeah. I've been so worried about Kate. She's fine. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. Well, luckily we found her before she got any worse. They just took her to the hospital. Yeah. I can't believe no one went to look for her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. They're New Frontier. Oh my god. Oh, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. What? One of them's his brother. Oh. Hey, I didn't know. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. Yeah. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I don't know. I mean, I didn't see him in a while. Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course, he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother. The way you two acted around each other, 
I just didn't think she had a husband out there. Keith. Is all. Active. The only reason I know Kate is because she married David. I was the best man at their wedding. Wow. Okay. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott, Javi, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. I know. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Javi. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it... That's one hell of an accusation. Saying he had his own family shot? You really believe he'd do something like that? After seeing how he was with Kate? Could be he was just putting on a show for us. But that's crazy. Okay. Clementine, you were part of the New Frontier. Did you know David? I knew him. Okay. If I'm being honest... Yeah. He's not a good guy. Is that right? If you told me he was the one behind Prescott, I wouldn't be surprised. Gonna stay quiet. There you have it. Straight from the horse's mouth. What happened at the gates? The fact that he's your brother? That doesn't change anything. I'm gonna find the man who killed Francine. These people better not get in my way. I'm gonna be asking questions about what went down at Prescott. And I won't stop Play along for now. until I get answers. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. What's something? Come on already, Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Thought I taught you better than that. Lead the way. Yeah. Gladly. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Listen, listen, play along. Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. Don't worry, I'll be back. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, okay, so... along with them for now that doesn't sound good we have a process our own way of doing things your guys better not have a problem with that things don't go well for troublemakers here I hope that's clear don't worry about them no problem you won't have to worry about them didn't sound that way they just need time to get used to things I hope you're right come on I mean, and things seems good. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I wanted to tell you myself. Yeah. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Lost? Oh. Her? I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. And you men shot her. 
It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? I don't know what to tell you, David. She was too sweet for this fucked up world. You gotta have grit to get this far. How? How did she die? Tell me how it happened. Please, I need to know. They shot her. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Yeah. Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. They ambushed us in a junkyard. Yeah. Just unloaded on us. They chased us back to this town, Prescott. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. All right, okay. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. I'll follow your lead for now. Impressive when I try. I'll follow your lead. Just don't get cute. I run security here. But it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Who's the fresh meat? Ava. This is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ava. Oh, is it now? You didn't say he was a gentleman, David. That's because he's not. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. I see. So she's a good person. But hold on, why, why Clementine did, doesn't like him? That woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house at the start. I'm sorry I never found you. Forget about it. It doesn't matter now. We found each other in the end. It matters to me. Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she turned. Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside DC. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. I'm not gonna lie. We were a team, yeah. I never thought you had it in you. We took care of each other. And we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world. But you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Okay. To be honest, I thought Kate is gonna die. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. 
Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. Uh, I'm a lot better seeing you. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. Let's stay quiet. Gross. Don't get weird about it. Just say yes. Uh, yes. Uh, what? You okay? Uh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the doc. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you alone. All right. What's going on? I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? David threw his own brother in a cell. Yeah, I know what you mean. This place gives me the creeps. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd been won over by the security here. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Listen, Please, I don't agree with her fully. Promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get, this place, it's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. How about David? I hear you, Kate, but we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. <sighs> Whatever. Just please, please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. Yeah. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. Doesn't seem normal. Could be her stitches. She pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Really superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills nine out of ten. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. We got lucky. We met a oh, group no, of I didn't mean Eleanor okay. just before Kate got shot. The same group in quarantine now. She's there now? Okay. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. What a package. You can't just cherry pick who you want. Why don't you let them all out? Can they all perform surgery on a dirt floor with a pair of pliers and no anesthetic? There's your answer. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Okay, I, 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 send my something I don't know. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys, and I will handle him. Okay. I don't know. This, this. I don't know if I should trust him or not. Should I make a scene or not? It may look pretty. But it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Okay. Pleased to meet you, Javi. 
I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. Hey, throw him. Oh yeah, the cell you threw me in was totally five star. I'm sorry about that. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Everything looks so good. I, I want it all. So polite, David. Yeah. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. That's your fine. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so... Yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. I always do what I'm told. Ask my older brother. You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. Okay. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. I've seen that mark a few times. You probably saw it at the gates. Right, Javi? We all took it as a sign of commitment. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. But it's not it this way. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. Your myth again. Is Funny you should say that. Some of your people, they keep me awake. In fact, some of them give me nightmares. My people? I'm sorry, Javi. I don't quite follow. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that they already know. Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Can't stand him. If I were you, I'd get him away from me before I do something I regret. Javi, be cool. Try it and see what happens, boy. I was willing to let bygones be. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. Exactly. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Did you steal gas we from us? We needed it. We were on the run from a herd. We just needed a single can. Everyone needs gas, asshole. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That, that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. We had real problems with her in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. I would say not. Clementine's not a bad person. Yeah. At least from what I've seen. Of course you'd say that. You got that honor among thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? No. You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. You think I'm bad? 
You have maniacs running around out there who are much, much worse. I'm not sure what you mean. All right. We hold our people to the highest standards. You don't. Javi? You have something to say? One of your people, some asshole, <laughs> a badger, he put a bullet in a little girl. My niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No, we need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They killed a hostage in cold blood. A woman, Francine. Badger did that. Not me. You were right there next to him. Yeah. I tried to get him to stop. I swear. Cut off her damn finger first. Max. I tried to stop him. I swear. He was out of control. David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Oh, I see. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. We're just gonna stick what? Just stay alive, okay? It felt good, it felt good doing that, to be honest. They told me, be straight with them. I was straight with them. Oh, what the fuck? We didn't do anything. I might do something here in a minute. David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! This isn't her fault, Trip. Yeah. You're mad at the wrong person. Wow. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. You okay, buddy? All right. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. What the hell, man? Wonder if that's the last guy they exiled. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What do we got? What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? It's for me. David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Okay. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. We don't even know where the hell we are on this thing. Listen, it's obvious. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. That's where we are. And that's where we need to go. Just gotta head north. Yeah. 
And to find North, we need to find the North Star. Is he kidding or... Oh, he's actually... That's it. We need to go this way. That was a lucky shot. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Deal with it. Take it. Please. Take it. Call it an apology. That man back there in the tunnel, that wasn't me. Take the gun. Conrad, don't let the past get in the way of common sense. Give him the gun, Javi. I can find something along the way. Always have. I don't like it. Let the man decide. The gun is yours, Conrad. Yeah. I can handle myself. Just don't miss it up again, Nobody or I'll have to show it to you this time. Deep fucking fried. You hear me? We don't want to attract whatever the hell's out there. Listen, I think this is going to be a good ending for this episode, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.